Yo, he's got uh, three GSWs to the chest. Uh, Dude, what just happened? You're going to want to put out a bolo for a blue challenger. Uh, apparently your life is under danger. Chief, look, you, you, you're going to have to walk me through anything advanced here, because like, I know I got medical training just like everyone uh, we, else, but we, we I don't get to use do it. We literally do not have the equipment. We have no ambulance coming for this gentleman. You hear that gunshots? You? I heard that too, actually. Uh. And there's it's, a cop it looks right like there. there's a. Yeah. Let me make sure that he's yeah, let's fine. Let's make sure he's fine. No, he's not. It was that blue car. Yo, hit your panic button. Hit your panic button. Give me a sec. Tell him it was that blue challenger it left. All times my radio did not work. Stay with me, deputy. Hey, which deputy is it? I don't know yet. Uh, check his name tag. I'm checking his vitals. It was that blue challenger we saw at the diner. Was it? Okay. Yeah, that was the one I just left. Tell, tell him it was a blue challenger. I just spit okay. out of here. All the days for my damn radio to die. You said that it was the blue challenger that we saw where we were? Yeah, it was a blue, chal diner? blue challenger okay. with a blue and orange challenger. Yo, he's got uh, three GSWs to the chest. Uh, Dude, what just happened? You're going to want to put out a bolo for a blue challenger, blue and orange challenger. That one blue we saw at the challenger? diner. Yeah. Hey, do you got a med bag? Yes. Is this the deputy that's down right here? Yeah, yeah. All right. Yes. Uh, did you see which way it went? Yeah, uh, back towards Plato, the way you came. It's uh, 230 Stefanelli is this guy's name. Yep. They literally, we just heard it and we slowed down thinking maybe uh, it was an officer who okay. was shooting a cougar. Uh, and then right as we came in, we saw that charger just running and him on the ground. I'll keep an eye on his vitals. Alright, yeah, I'm trying to control the bleeding as best I can. His vitals are getting lower. I, I, mean, I don't channel. have any saline with me or okay. anything like that. So, um, what wounds have you packed? I, I've packed uh, all three of them at this point. I'm just trying to. I, I got two hands on two. I just need another one on the other one. All right, I'll start that. Yeah. What do you need me to do? Uh, we've got hands on everything right now. Uh, for, for honestly, just keep us safe right now, because I don't know what the fuck happened. Okay. Again, we just went by right as we heard shots fired. Like, ooh, we hadn't, we didn't even see the cop here, so. Okay. I got, uh, I got it. I got air bubbles coming out of this one here. I think he's, uh, he might have pierced the lung. Shit, okay. It might, uh, it might check, deflate. I'll check his, I'll, yeah, I'll check his, uh. Yeah, we don't keep an airway bag in our vehicle, so this is, no, uh, not good. No, we do not. No, we do not. Airways clear. All right, they're getting uh, air med set up just in case. All right. Yeah, good call. Okay. Uh, I think one one is uh, actually uh, got hit here. 
Shit. We don't have the shit we need. Okay, hold on. Let me uh, relay that. Far March 22, we've got one LUN hit and we do not have the right equipment. Can Again, can we please expedite? This is crazy. This was not... Like, we just ran across this. There's like... This is not... <laughs> People always wonder if we script stuff in SAF. We don't script things. This is completely... We just ran across this. Like, holy shit. <laughs> like, I'm so, like, shocked this has been such an active night. I'm just doing what I can to keep this one sealed up. How, how far out are they? I don't know. I hear them. Uh, they should be... Uh... They shouldn't be too far away. The the big hazmat call wasn't that far away. His vitals are dropping slowly, but they're still dropping. We don't. <sighs> Fuck. Chief, look, you, you you're gonna have to walk me through anything advanced here, because like I know I got medical training just like everyone uh, else, we, but we, I don't we get to use not, it. We literally do not have the equipment. No, I know, I, I, what I'm saying is... So, I, just, you're doing exactly what you should be doing. Um, if there's any blood that's going through the gauze there, just apply another one. Don't replace it. That's all, all right. we can do at this point for him. Yeah. Uh, they have air med on standby, so we'll, we'll definitely need air med. So, I'm going to actually give that, make that call. All right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm very rusty on medical right now. Oh, uh, no worries. No worries. Um, if that's not really your job here, so... I mean... At this time, hold on a minute. Promotion 22 to air med. Can we go ahead and have you on active standby we are most likely going to need you time for it could you head in route now then please ASAP we're going to need we have no ambulance coming for this gentlemen we have our rapid one coming to help aid with the equipment um, so we are going to need to close off the entire highway for okay. him to land since we don't have an ambulance to move him to the sheriff's station if we could get that please If you need to, you can move my vehicle as well for right. for uh, traffic control. Actually, is there a place here they can land? Uh, I think it's too tight up in here. I think the highway is the best bet. Okay. I, I I can move our vehicle if, if you're able to right. stay yeah, with him. Yeah, I'll get the northbound lane or the southbound lanes. I don't, I don't even know if I can leave him. We can't. We gotta keep applying pressure right now because All of right. the one being hit. I'll let, I'll let him do it then. Looks like they got somebody else here, so... Yeah, our rapid should be right around the corner here. Good, good. 20 seconds out. Thank God. All right, Silver, so we've got, we, we literally just came, we heard shots and we looked over to our left and we saw him down. Um, he's got a lung hit. He's uh, bleeding from all gunshot wounds pretty heavily. We keep having to apply more and more and more. All right, breathing how many was of you so far? Three. Um, his breathing was definitely uh, gurgly and raspy to some extent. I'm pretty sure that, again, that lung was hit. Uh, his eyes are dilated a bit. Well, they're a little reactive, a little slow, though, so blood loss is starting to kick in. Yeah, he was coughing up blood, and uh, there was air bubbles coming out of his wound a few seconds ago. Got it. If you want to take over, I'm going to help uh, get the uh, LZ set up. Yep, I've got it. Yep. All right. Yeah, we don't right, have any idea or anything like that. I think... I think they've got the LZ pretty much... Okay, they got they got the highway shut down, so... We'll go ahead and get this helicopter uh, set up here. So this this was completely by accident that this happened. Like, we, we did not mean to come across this. Like, at all. This is completely, like... Not part of it. <laughs> we did not expect this at all. Oh my god, I can't I can't believe this. Um I think they're gonna be good with traffic control. I'll just um I'll set the vehicle kinda of facing this way a little bit. Just so that we don't have anyone try to breach through here like this guy, you know.
think the helicopters do in here any minute now. I just can't. I don't. Oh, actually, I can hear them. Um, okay, there they are. Uh, do I have flares as a part of my? No, I don't. I can definitely put them down though. Um, get them real quick. Get out of my vehicle. Uh There we go. Didn't mean to put that one down, but that's how that works. Don't drive through that. Don't do it. <laughs> so we do have a chopper coming down right now by the looks of it. They are coming in for a landing. And then we'll get this uh, deputy uh, all lined up here for um, getting air medevaced. This is crazy that this even happened in the first place. Like, I <laughs> we just accidentally came across this this was this was not like that gave me chills when i like saw the deputy down and i put two and two together about that vehicle that was uh here oh, wait, hold on. like that was crazy Air meds down. We'll go assist uh, moving him here. Hang on, I gotta lead him in. Hey man, if you want to follow me, I'll lead you to him. Uh, you know how many patients there are? Uh, just one, three D GSWs, uh, and a uh, uh, punctured lung. I gotcha. Hey, can you go ahead and get me one of the spinal bolts? Because gotcha. I've got none on the bike. I'll uh, grab the stretcher and uh, everything as well for you. Gotcha. We're just uh, wheeling the stretcher over here right now. I have my hands on them. They're still bleeding through go. on the gauze. I've had, I have, I have, I think, three sets of gauze now over them. Gotcha. Um, go ahead and see if you can pack them instead of just holding pressure in. Uh, since we've got more personnel here now, just stuff them as full as you can. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. But there is, as I see, there's no need for a medic, right? No, uh, you're no, we here. So out. we need to get them out. We can't waste time waiting right, for an ambulance. Pulse is still 30, BP is 100 and over 30, O2 okay. sets at 88%. Um, let's go ahead and change that floor O2 to a high, auto, uh, high floor, sorry. Just drop the valve there, Campbell. Yep. I'm starting to pack your shoes, watch out. Wounds already packed, by the way. Just, if, if, if the gauze is bleeding through, just go ahead and put up another one here. Yeah, I'm just more or less switching gauze. Alright, pushing 3 milligrams of atropine to help the bradycardia. Street's just trying to be helpful. Um, He's not good with medical right, stuff, so... Uh, are you investigations? Yeah. Uh, you want to take this since it's your guy? Sure. Alright. Uh, right, I'm going to double just, check uh, the other stomach the here signs of tunnel bleeding. Um, heard shots fired. As they rounded the corner, they saw his car and then he was down right there. Yeah, for you, Emmett's ready. And Mr. Street over here has all back burn stretcher for us. Alright, let's go ahead and get him prepped to move. Um, it's a stable so I'm gonna get him right now and I'll, we'll do more in the, uh, the air med and I'll hop in with you. Gotcha. Alright, on the counter for we'll go ahead and, uh, move him onto the, uh, 
back on and then onto the other structure. All right. All right. One, two, three, and roll. Get Tulsa strapped in. Right, with Paul, me and you move him onto the stretcher here. Campbell, if you can pick up the uh, the life pack and the yep. IVs there and just put them onto his uh his lap. Alright, on the count of three, we'll go ahead and lift. One, two, three, and lift. You uh, want me to the stretcher. You want me to secure your bike, sir? Yeah, if you want to secure my bike and just have it um shipped down to the nearest station. Yeah, I'll call fleet maintenance for you. I'll uh, have it brought down to seven. We'll go ahead All and right. roll. I'll go ahead and notify uh uh Yeah, hey, this is a uh, deputy fire marshal, uh, Harper Street. Could I uh, have a uh, fleet maintenance come up here to the uh, lumber mill at uh, one zero eight three, Virgin Highway? Uh, pick up uh, motorcycle, bring it down to station seven. Thank you. Oh my god, I cannot believe the craziness that has happened in this patrol. This is a crazy fire marshal patrol. I can see why you guys love this so much. Uh, it's ridiculous. Like this, uh, None of this was planned. I just want to put that out there. None of this was planned. This is just freaking crazy. Hey, excuse me. That was unexpected. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Detective Taylor Plank, I'm sure it's off screen, you guys already know. I just want to ask you a couple questions of everything that's happened here since I've taken the case for you. Yeah, sure thing. Yep. Uh, starting from the very beginning, what else happened here? Well, we were riding up just uh, past, I think past the ski post when we, actually, it was just past a sign that we heard gunshots, so I slowed down. I saw the uh, only the officer car, and we we, we, we were going to continue on, but we thought, you know what, we'll check out to see, make sure it wasn't like a cougar that, you know, was getting shot at because it was a sheriff car. Uh, so we ended up parking and seeing the gentleman there on the ground and a, uh, was it a two-door challenger, you said, Harper? Yeah, so, um, uh, uh, Fire Marshal Campbell here didn't see it, but, um, when I heard the gunshots, I turned around and I saw a blue an orange challenger uh, fishtail out of the scene and head back up towards Polito. And that's how I knew it was a uh, officer involved shooting. No. Mm -hmm. Am I good to move that Tahoe? Oh, uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, you guys started with some chest fired. You guys rode up here and seen our deputy down here. Yeah, yeah, it was just purely either good or bad timing for us. Probably good because uh, we could help yeah. them, but. I didn't even I didn't see the vehicle personally. I was focusing on looking for a cougar on the road. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. Uh, and um, can I just get your name to the report out? Hold on. Yes, uh, I'm actually Deputy Chief Katarina Campbell of the Fire Department. Okay, and you, sir? And uh, I'm Deputy Fire Marshal Harper Street. Okay. I don't really have any other questions. We might be in contact with you again. Probably, I don't think we will, honestly. I, I'm sort of just still working this. Um, but if you do have any other questions, you probably will try to contact you. Have a little sit down with you guys. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. No, of course. You, you guys are able to go. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we do have another inspection we gotta do, and we're uh, at this point 20 minutes late to it. So. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Nah, but all right. Thank you. Yeah, of course, thanks, man. Hey. Uh, just so you guys have a little bit of peace of mind, uh, shooters in custody. Really? Oh, nice. oh, I'm glad you guys found yeah, him. Yeah, your description got out fast enough to... It's somebody had already stopped him earlier in the day and had the plate and his description already, so... Okay, that's, that's good. Awesome. I, 
uh, yeah, I just I wish we were again five seconds sooner so we could have maybe prevented it. But I mean, uh, I was getting ready to come down this way too, so I'm right there with you. I was pulling out of the gas station when that came out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll uh, I'll just add this uh, to my list of people that don't like me now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's let's hope that list doesn't grow any longer. So um, yeah, I'll keep it at two. Thank you. Stay safe. Okay. Yep. yep thank you. Well. Thank you. Yep. You gotta stay safe. All right, can we just do this damn inspection now? Ugh. All right, you, you all right? You good, Chief? Sorry, what? I was outside my head. Uh, sorry, you, you you good, Chief? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I just, uh, I just wish we could have prevented it. Yeah, no. Uh, sorry, I kind of froze up there. I'm numb. Not really that great with uh, medical, you know. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Um, I mean, it, it might be best to potentially have you attend one of our uh, just like our monthly trainings that we give to all firefighters. If well, it's optional for just you know paramedic, and maybe you can learn a little more to help out. Yeah, I mean, it's not I, a requirement, but I'm just we're I'm just offering that to you if you if you do want to learn a little more. Yeah, but this, ultimately, ultimately, no matter no matter how much training we have, we are limited to our equipment on our vehicles. Yeah, I hear you. No, I just um, like I said, I'm not too used to doing the medical stuff, and you know, I know I know I got the same basic medical training that the rest of you guys did, but uh, you know, I don't use it practically, so I don't retain the uh, you know information that you guys do that you use every day. Yeah, for sure, for sure. But we'll be fine. Um, I think it just felt my phone vibrate, so I got a text message. I can check. But I'm gonna go ahead and get us up to hookies, and then we can maybe finally eat our cold burgers and kind of relax from from that. Yeah, I I think I've lost my appetite after these two things that just yeah. happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the same for uh, me. I'll, I'll save mine for the seagulls, maybe. Okay, um, looks like the gentleman who we're inspecting his business today, he's gonna be just a little late, so I can just wait around if you don't mind. Oh, I mean, I got nowhere else to be, I'm being paid to be here. Yeah. <sighs> so, when you were uh, back back uh, you know a pop steiner uh, were you actually on a call with somebody because it sounded like you were no i was just trying to get somebody to answer me on the phone i mean i i could have swore maybe i heard breathing and i was asking them like why are you doing this who is this but uh i, I just wasn't getting a response back i don't I know if, right. i don't know if that was part of the deal or something that they were trying to do I, it just doesn't make any sense hmm yeah, well, I hope the officers can figure out what's going on and put an end to it. Yeah, same here. I, I just, I, I, I feel real uncomfortable right now with the whole thing with my wife. Oh yeah, I would definitely advise maybe moving out of your place with her and in, in, into the motel. But yeah, no, we're we'll stay there a couple nights, and I'll I'll swing by our place and just make sure uh, everything's fine there. Okay. All right. I appreciate you helping. This is kind of uh, not. Yeah. This is not an impression I wanted to be uh, leaving on my boss here. You know. Uh, well, it's it's not your fault. You know, if someone's going to be vengeful for something for you doing your job, then that's that's not your fault. I have to ask, like, how do you guys do this day in and day out? Because like I read the reports and the news articles, and I know you guys deal with some serious shit. Yeah, uh, sometimes you just get desensitized to it after a little while. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. That officer going down right in front of us, I've I've never actually experienced that. So it's that's that's just it's good timing for us and for him. But at the same time, it I don't know. I don't know what would have happened if we weren't nearby because it seemed like ra even rapid was way far away and they couldn't even get an ambulance so yeah exactly I mean yeah, yeah imagine I mean it looks like that uh what was it Sergeant uh Clinton was it you would have been down the yes. road so 
Yeah, but I mean, in terms of medical, oh yeah, no related stuff. And granted, we didn't, we don't have really much more than what they do, but at least we have experience. Well, one of us does. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd, uh, I don't think I'd cut it as a regular firefighter. Yeah. I don't even want, I want my rigor, but at the same time, I don't. Yeah, I'm not eating, not, not after all that. Oh my fucking god! The fuck?! The hell was that? Guess that was the owner, maybe. I really hope not. I didn't even see the vehicle. I turned around so fast and it was gone. Hey, up me, Doc. How's it going? Uh, oh, sorry, a bit late. Running on tight schedule. Let's yeah. get with this then. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> chop, chop. <laughs> Come on, what? Uh, just, uh, yeah, let, let me grab my paperwork. Can I, uh, can I get your Sorry. full name, sir? My full name? Yeah, it's James. James Halfright. James Hartnell, Hartright? Yeah. No, Halfright. Like, half yeah. right. Half bright. Yeah, got you it. Let me yeah. Oh, here, yeah. looks like my radio is messing up. I'll be right back. Alright. Alright, so half bright, kind of like a light bulb that's dim? Nah, half right. Half right. Oh, so like you're half you wrong, half right? For ya. No, 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 I got yeah, it. Yeah, there you go. Now you got it. Now you got it. I got you. Uh, like I said, running on tight schedule, but I made it. Okay. Yeah, I could tell while you're driving there, you're running on tight schedule. Yep, you gotta keep things moving. Yep. Alright. Uh, we're just waiting for my partner here with her radio to get fixed, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll start that's this fine. inspection. That's fine. Uh, I gotta go up the road really quickly and just, um... Yeah, you're good, love. Yep, I'll be right you're back. Good. Uh, if you don't... Uh, hold on, yeah, I'll be right back. I just, I, uh, there's no signal here, so I gotta just let dispatch know we're here. Yeah, right, yeah. I'll just, I'll just start the paperwork. If you want to start by all means, go wait, in there. Or if you need me. the toilet, wait you can me, go please. over there. All right. Just in, yep. All right. So, yeah, I'm sorry. Your first sorry, name you want again? To make a phone call. We done a nice view. My first name is James. James. All right. I just want to make sure. Uh, I like to. Yeah, that's fine. I like to talk on a first name basis here. Uh, my name is. Uh, yeah. What's What's your name? I'm a Deputy Fire Marshal Harper Street. You can call me Harper if you like. Hi, nice to meet you, Mr. Oh, well, I'll just get out of the way, way alright. Yeah. Well, if you ever find yourself too armored to drive, you know, I also run a, uh, a cabin company. Yeah, can damn. get you there. Speedy time. I got you. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get away from these bikers here before they start. Enough, yeah. uh, we've had enough problems tonight. I already need to shoot somebody. Oh, long night? Yeah, you could say that. Yeah. Uh, what, you want anything to eat while we wait? Uh, no, I'm good on, uh, my... I'm, I'm good, thank you. Alright, man. That's fine. Well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go touch myself up some brunch. Uh, just shout me whenever the partner gets... Oh, there she is, never mind. Yeah, it's alright, she's here now. Alright, if you want to go talk to her, that's fine. I'm gonna go touch myself so I'll just start my brunch. Alright. Yeah, he's, uh, he's cooking himself some brunch right okay. now, but I think we can oh. start. Yeah, let's go ahead and start then. That was um, a little weird. Yeah, yeah, he is. Um, is this the same guy as last time in your report? I'm gonna be honest, it happened so long ago, I don't remember. That's fine. Is there a way to get inside, or...? Mm. Hey, man. Oh, hey, How was it going? Alright, uh, yeah, she's back, uh... Oh, sounds yep. good. Chief Campbell, you want to take lead on this one since it's the last one? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do you have a fire alarms and whatnot set up inside your building here? I mean, I'd hope so. I haven't okay. really installed I, anything I guess... myself. Just came mm -hmm. into the property and okay. I'm just trying to get it all sorted out before I do plan on opening. You know what okay. I mean? All right, I'll go ahead and go in and... Uh... Yeah, that's fine. Just don't mind my brunch. I, I, if you want some, I can cook you up some as well, but I'd rather no, you don't take no, any we've, of mine. No, we've actually lost our appetite, so we're, we're good. All right. Okay, uh, right. um... Harper? Yep. You, you can see the uh, two sprinkles next to each other, right? Just write that down. 
and one of them I don't think even works. Yeah, I see that. Yep. Mm. Checking the fire extinguisher. Mm hmm. Okay. Sorry, if I just get past that in my yep, yep, yep. Nearly yep. Dumb. Yeah, yeah. Looks like you might be burning your food. You might want to get to that. Nah, it's fine. I like to have it with a bit of crisp. You know what I mean? Yeah, just know that we uh, we can't pass your business if you know you burn it down. You know, I don't plan on burning it down anytime soon. But if I did, I guess now is the best time having two firefighters with me. <laughs> okay, we're uh, we've got everything. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we're just gonna leave the, the the building. We'll be with you in just a moment. All right, let's find up. I'll be right area in Masani. Okay, uh, so, a lot of issues. Oh yeah. Well, first of all, the sprinkler system isn't even halfway working, not to mention the sprinklers aren't even set up properly. So that alone already uh, determines us closing the business down. Um, pretty minor stuff, extinguisher is expired. Uh, and then first aid kit is just... Bare minimum, freaking! I, I'm pretty sure I saw some Hello Kitty band-aids in there, and that's about it. Yeah, I, uh, I'm pretty sure this is going to constitute a fail at this point. Uh, yeah, that alone, the sprinkler system alone is not good. Um, his alarm system seems to be in order, though. Uh, otherwise, the sprinkler system is a big thing, and we need that fixed before we can let him open it up. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. <clears throat> All right. Um, should I deliver the news, or do you want to? Uh, seeing as, why don't you do it? I think I've, uh, I think I've done enough tonight. <laughs> okay. Uh, go ahead and sign the bottom there and we'll have him yeah. sign it too. Let's have him sign it first. Okay. Uh, sir? What's his name? Oh, fuck it now. Oh, sir? Uh, James Halfright. Oh, oh shit. You guys won't happen to. Oh wait, yeah. You guys won't happen to carry, you know, an extinguisher or a hose with you, would you? Hey, what? Oh, Jesus. A fire extinguisher or something. Oh fuck. You... Hey, um... All right, what's Come going on there? Come on, he's trying to throw water onto a freaking oil All right, sir, pan. Just, just move, move out of the way. Leave, move out of the way. Leave the building. Leave the building. Oh fucking hell! No, oh, Sir, come on! Oh, fuck. fucking... All right. All right. You want to oh. get, get medical out here? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. oh, I'll we're do out the fire. Of... Yeah, yeah, I know. Oh. I think I'll leave the cooking to the professionals next time, in it, fam. You get me? Alright, I'll just be with you in a minute, man. Hang on, I'm trying to put this fire out. <laughs> oh. Okay, how's it looking in there? How, have you checked out the gentleman? Oh yeah, I'm trying to fight this damn fire. Oh, don't worry, love, I've got water on my face. It's just cool, in it? Alright, why don't we have you sit down here? Sit down on this bench, on one of these benches. No, it's fine, love, I'm, I'm handling it myself. No, 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 sit down, sit down, sit down. Oh, fucking hell, fine. Alright, fire is out. You, you're going to potentially... Oh, okay. Just anywhere, it doesn't matter where. I know, I know, I just want to be in arm's reach of this ketchup in it. No. Oh. Okay, well, we, we've got you, oh, Megan, really you, you really burn the shit out of your face. Um, so well, let's... it's not my fault, they don't teach that in school, uh, do they? Anyway, I haven't been in school for years, so who knows. <laughs> okay, um... Let me just make sure you're doing all right here. How are you? Fe how's your face feeling right now? I can't imagine that feels very good. I'm gonna go put this back. You thin, look. <laughs> you thin, that don't feel good. No, it don't feel good. Oh, 
ignore the flare. I put that down by mistake because the stupid thing. I, I, I love the flare script, but I hate it because you try to put the flare away and it puts one down. So. We do have a medic unit en route. They're going to go ahead and help you, but let me check the face. All right. No. Could you go get our first aid kit, Harper? Please? Yeah, no problem. Okay. I happen to have some, like, burn take, cream or something. There should be some uh, burn bandages in there. Could you take some of that out? Oh, All right, really let's up. not have you... Let's not have... Yes, I know. Let's not have you touch anything, okay? I'm going to put some burn cream and bandages over. It's going to be just temporarily relief. Temporary relief. But All you right. are going to be going to the hospital today. Oh, fucking hell. Here you go, Chief. Oh, no, I tight schedule to run. Just don't touch anything. I'm gonna take care of your face here. Okay. Um, do you, you know what? You are you are you do what you have to do? Are you feeling um, any tightness in your throat or anything like that? No, not really. It uh, not really, love. I, I, mean, okay. I think my throat's fine. All right. Just let me know if you're feeling any immense amount of pain, like immense, immense amount of pain, or if you feel like you can't uh, swallow anything or or breathe. Everything you, I'll do. Could you go ahead and get into radio signal? If you go further down that way, just like right across the street, you can get radio signal. Right, my radio's dead, remember? Oh, fuck. That's right. I'll, I'll, mind? I'll take just over you. Just keep it on him. Keep it on yeah. Just keep it on his vitals at this point. I put bandages and cream yeah, why all don't over we all just go together? No, 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 no. You're good, no, you're good man. You just, you just sit here, right? You've been through some shit today. So just hang out here with me. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys have said you've been through some shit as well. But yeah, but that's our I job. I think that so. shit includes it in your face, blown off. No, it no, really you're fucking fine. hurts right now. I got you. Don't worry. We were... You wouldn't happen to have any contacts in the plastic surgery department, would you? Uh, me? No. I, uh, as you can see, I got oh. a very nice smooth face. I have no need for that kind of thing. Well, you see, burns don't really come off as smooth, and I need to preserve my face. And it I really know. fucking hurt. It's right. I mean, here's here's how it's going to work for you, man. Like, you're going to have to go to the hospital. They're going to take care of your burns, right? And then after that, you know, they might refer you to a plastic surgeon, so th th they'll have better information than I will. No, they best. Oh yeah, don't worry, they'll, they'll take good care of you. Oh, I really hope. Oh, it's really sweaty. I'm, I'm right. drenched. Yeah, you, uh... You want any kind of medications I gotta know about, or anything that might, uh... You know. Uh, I do take steroids for an asthma that I do have. All right, you take those recently? Yeah. A little bit ago. All right. Oh, well, here. Our medics are here now, so I'm going to turn it over to them, all right? On top of that. Yeah, uh, let's walk dude, out what's together. The, what's the name of that medication you take? Ah, oh, foot nose. Hospital gave it. It's just... Ah, oh, foot nose. All right. Yeah, I just, just down them and, and just do what the doctor says. I got you. All right, just uh, stay seated here. We'll give him a... Uh... He just called you. He should be here now. So. Okay, okay. Hello. Yeah, hey, uh, real quick, I, I know you're going to give him the hey, report, yo, but uh, he takes a, a steroid for uh, something. I don't know. I'm not really well good with medical, but he takes a steroid. He just doesn't know the name of medication. Thank you. All right. Well, just to quickly go over your inspection. You have failed it. Um, primarily, first aid kit is not really up to date with everything you need. Uh, your fire extinguishers are expired. And more, most importantly, your sprinkler system is absolutely not working in... Well, it's, it's not working. Yes. And you know what? When I bought this place, they said it was all fire code safety, but I wanted to make sure. Uh, well, that's not. It's can not we just us. reverse this inspection and pretend it never happened? No, and we can't. And can you give me some sort of pain medication because this fucking kills? Our medic can help you with that, but I do need you to Thank sign you. this piece of paper. Um, you will have thirty days to. Would fifty dollars change your mind? No, you would. You will have thirty days to fix up the sprinkler system. You need to separate those sprinklers first of all and make sure that they cover the entire area and make sure they actually work because one of them was not working. How about hundred? Please Sir, sign the paper. you don't want to go down the road of bribing a government official. It's just a question, love. Don't take it too deep. It's just a bribe, but no, we're not doing that. What am I doing with this? Uh, go ahead and sign the bottom. Uh, you are basically signing away the fact that you're going to be fixing this in 30 days. Uh, once it is fixed, go ahead and contact uh, me or another fire marshal, and we'll go ahead and reinspect it, and hopefully everything will be is settled. Is that a then. legal requirement that I have? To it do is that. a legal requirement. You cannot open this business up until this is all fixed. Uh, so you have I thirty days. To sign this, it if, means I, don't, I never open it up. Yeah. Uh, 
if you don't open it up and you decide to sell it, you you know that you still need to have it up to code before you sell it, right? Okay. The, the well, thing is, up. man, if you don't sign it, we are within our rights to just condemn the building entirely. So it's better off oh, that God. you sign it and then get everything fixed. I'll sign it. And I hope to see you here tomorrow for the grand up. Uh, if you get it fixed by tomorrow, I will be very impressed. You said I was going to get it fixed. Well, if you get it... If you open up tomorrow, again, we can come by and condemn the building, and then you might get arrested or charged for it. Okay. We'll, we'll see about that, though. Okay, there's your copy there of everything you need to fix. Again, you have 30 Thank days to you. do it, otherwise you will be fined. Um... Other than that, if you open oh, this I up really prior... Oh, I mate. Yeah, well, uh, if you do not <sighs> fix everything and you open this place up, we are able to completely shut it down, and it'll be illegal for you to be opening it, and thus you will okay. get okay. those charges. I'll, I'll, I'll fix it up, love, and I'll contact you. All right. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to go ahead and take our leave there so you guys can handle him. Oh. Also, uh, just a little word of advice. Don't ever put water on, on, on a grease. Could have told me that before hey, I did it. I Is didn't... The that's burned? Yes. Okay. Does anyone know where my partner is exactly? He's right in front of you, actually. He's right here next to me. Oh. Okay. okay, we'll be taking our leave. Uh, I hope you have a better day, sir. Yeah, me too. Have you pushed that pain meds yet? Because I'm fucking killing still. I'll give you that in just a second. I need to okay, let's see. We're heading now, guys. Let me let us know. On that if... note, it, can you cut my shirt off or can I take it off without disrupting the burns? Because it is really hot. Uh, just one get, him, get him on fluids if you don't already have that, by the way. Alright, we're gonna li take a leave. Okay. Alright, you said you wanted to ride to the motel? Yeah, if you could, please. If you, uh, okay. if you just go south here and take 68, I think it's that way. I'm not too familiar with the county yet, I'm still learning this place. The road sure ain't like Chicago. Yep. Alright, well, of course. Oh. Well. I mean, look, I've been on a couple local inspections uh, since I got back to state, but is it always like this? Uh, no, no, it's not. I Sometimes it is. I I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, most of the businesses in the city are usually up to code, and I have no problems. It seems to be the county businesses that have problems, probably because they, you know, don't get as much and they can't keep things up to date yeah i was just wondering because the whole time that man was talking actually pretty much the moment he picked up the ketchup bottle and started eating it um i was just wondering if i just should have stayed in chicago with my wife mm -hmm. i see um oh damn tunnel is about to call us out it's right though i think uh i think this place is growing on me I'm glad you enjoy it. Sorry that, well, we've had a pretty um, rough, rough day. It seems like. Yeah, well, I'm just glad I was partnering up with you here because uh, I don't know how I would have done otherwise. Oh, look out! Yep, didn't see that. Mm hmm. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Usually it's not like that. I promise you that. I mean, yeah. I guess if you want, I'll. Okay, uh, apparently your life is under danger, so I let them know that you're with me and that you're going to this motel right now, so they'll be keeping an eye on you most likely. Uh, wait, what, what did you hear? Uh, the, they probably don't have any details, they just said, they just claimed that your life was in danger, that's it. I don't know. <sighs> Alright. So, with that in mind, I'm gonna expedite us. That's fine, yeah, get, get me to my wife, please. Yeah, we need to get you off the road here and this vehicle off the road as well. And they really didn't give you any kind of details? Uh, no, it wasn't. It was just a fire, uh, firefighter telling me this, so they probably heard it um, at the station or something. They're probably looking for you. All right. When, uh, when we get to the motel, can you just give me a second to look around the area and make sure we're good before you go? I don't know if I'll have time for that, but I'll try if we get there in time. Alright, I just would rather have two people with guns there instead of one, you know. Yeah, that's fine. I'll, I'll try to get us there here. I think it's right up here anyways. Yeah, right across the intersection, uh, up ahead there.
This is a motel, right? Yeah, it's the one. I see my wife's car too, so we're good. Okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, it looks alright. Um, yeah, if you gotta go, just go, you're fine. Uh, you, you don't want to stay here just a little longer? I've got, like, two minutes. Alright, let me just look around the back real quick and just check these vehicles. Looks pretty normal. What the? Hang on. What? Nothing, I thought I heard something. I was hearing a squeaky noise myself, actually, so... Yeah. But yeah, I don't think it was just you. Just wanna make sure there's no one hiding any of these vehicles here or something. Which one is your wife in? Uh, she's got the uh, black car in the middle here. Okay. I, I, mean, I, I'm, at the, I'm at the room. Oh, room. Yeah, yeah. She's uh, she got the second, uh, the one right here, the uh, second to the last. Okay. I'll just make sure she's in there real quick. Give me a second. I mean, her car is here, so I think we're good. Okay. All right. You stay safe out there and keep me up to date as well. I'm sure that Elio will do it as well, but. Yeah, I'll text you if anything uh, goes on, so I appreciate it, though, uh, Chief. Of course. Um, you stay safe, and it was nice seeing you again, Harper. Yeah, you as well. Thank you. You, uh, you take care. You too. All right, this is going to wrap up this goddamn video. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, my God. I, uh, this has this been crazy, crazy. This has been a crazy patrol. None of this was planned. None of this was expected. It was just insanity. And the fact that Charlotte is back and terrorizing Harper and Harper had to lie to the law enforcement just to figure this shit out. Oh, man, this is this is really, really crazy. But um, yeah, we'll see how this all goes and everything. It's just oh, man. Well, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, this has been really, really amazing. And um, yeah, I hope to see you all in the next one. So love you guys. Till we meet again.